So what is GetResponse DKIM and how do you configure it? In this video, I'm going to show you really quickly how to configure your DKIM for, get, for your GetResponse account to increase your deliverability in your emails and why you should. Hello again, my name is Fran and DKIM is basically a signature that is added and encrypted to your email sendings to ensure the receiver server that this message was sent by the original sender. So if there is no spam or has, it hasn't been intercepted somewhere. We've all received emails from, uh, from companies that seem very reliable, which once you read the message, you can see it's clearly a spam message. Now, this is not happening anymore because the companies are using D DKIM and other authentication services and encryption services to ensure that their emails are not interfered with. GetResponse recently added DKIM for all their users. If you don't have DK, a DKIM key in your domain, GetResponse will use their own. And what your subscribers will see when you email them is uh, a message from you via GetResponse as an auto, as authentication. So how can you change this and use your own DKIM key in GetResponse and why should you? Well, first of all, GetResponse's DKIM key is obviously used by many users in DKIM. So you need to build, your, build up your own reputation, your own email reputation. Otherwise, you are using GetResponse's general reputation, which belongs to many users that might be sp sending spammier emails to their, to their receivers. This then signals servers like Gmail to send these kind of messages to the spam folder or even to the promotions folder. So if you're doing email right and your subscribers like your emails, then you will build up your own reputation and you will be seen by companies like Gmail, Hotmail and all these servers as a reputable email sender and they will keep delivering your emails to, the, to, the, to their user's inbox, which is where you want to land. So let's see how we can, we can generate the DKIM key and add it to your account. So I've purposely, purposely created, generated a lot of uh, different situations with my emails here, just to show you the difference. If you need to know how to add an email address to your, to your GetResponse account, I have another video explaining exactly how to do that and you can just you can find it somewhere around in this uh, in this screen i will try to put a tag for it these are all the different signals you can see here you can find authentication pending you can find unconfirmed authenticated or uh, or to a, a signal to authenticate this one i have required or i have requested already the authentication and this one i have just confirmed it but i i haven't refreshed the window so you can see what happens once you confirm the email address, like by clicking the email, it shows unconfirmed. And then once it is confirmed, once you click the email that, that GetResponse sends you, it's, it's, it shows like this. And it asks to authenticate. Once you, all you have to do to authenticate it. So as you can see, this one just refreshed and is now authenticated. And I will show you what I did to, to, to receive this signal. And I will do the exact same one I will do the exact same thing for this domain so you can see. So the email we have here is franetearnitbetter.com. I will click here on authenticate. So what all you have to do is you copy this and they tell you to create a text record for this. So let me show you the whole process in Bluehost. Just go to domains, click on subdomains usually to appear what we want, zone editor, and then Go, choose the domain you want to work, to do this for, and you'll create a host record. So this is the host record, is this value right here, and now you're going to copy this key, and this is where it, it has to point to. So this is the value of the, of the text record we will be creating. The type has to be TXT, so it's text, and this is the, this is the key. Now we'll add this record, it might take some time sometimes to populate. Just make sure you give it a few minutes. And let's find the text record. So let's go by, down here to text. And it is here created. And this is signaling 
get my get response account that my domain is authenticated. So let's go back to our get response account. And as you can see here, authentication pending, like I, like you saw before in the next one. Now, this would take a few minutes to, to show as authenticated, but you saw, uh, that's why I left the other one without refreshing, so you can see the difference when it moves from authentication pending to authenticated. That's all you have to do. All you have to do is add that text record to your zone, to your DNS uh, records in your registrar. If you have Bluehost, this is the way to do it. If your registrar is not Bluehost, then I will leave a link to this article from GetResponse where they explain the process with, with GoDaddy and it might be of some help to you. So just find the link in the description below. You'll also find a link to Bluehost and a link to get to create a GetResponse account if you don't have one, which you probably already do if you're watching this video. All right, so that's that's what I have about DKIM and how to configure it in GetResponse. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want more GetResponse tutorials, you can find them in my channel. If you want a specific one that I don't have, that I haven't created yet, just leave a comment below telling me what you'd like to know. And I will try to create a video for that. If you want to start earning properly or earn more from the content you are creating or have already created, subscribe to this channel and there will be a lot of videos of talking about that. Thank you very much for watching once again and see you on the next one.